All right, so in this video, I am introducing the idea of greedy algorithms. Uh, you've probably used greedy algorithms before, but um, this, the idea of greedy algorithms is that you have a sub problem and you have candidates, uh, things like, for instance, change denominations um, to choose from. And what you do is you look at the most optimal solution from the perspective of the sub problem rather than the most optimal solution globally. So sometimes this is a good approach and other times it, it's actually a very bad approach. It's sort of short-sighted, right? So let's look at a problem first where greed is good and that's gonna be in making change. So um, if you've ever had a, a job where you had to make change, you're, you're familiar with this uh, algorithm. What you do is you look at uh, the change that you have to provide. So uh, we're given n, and n is a number of cents, so that we don't have to convert from dollars. Um, and so, you know, 100 is $1, and so uh, 10,000 is $10. So uh, given n, n is going to be a number from one to some number, right? Um, so essentially, um, oh no, I think this is actually $100, yeah, and this is 50. So um, essentially, uh, what you do is you look at the largest bill that is smaller than n. So find the small, the largest denomination of change that is larger than n. Um, the next thing that you do is you take one of those bills out. So I'll append, uh, that number to the chain array. Uh, the next thing that you do is you mentally subtract that uh, you know number from the amount of change that you have to give. So if it was twenty dollars and twenty five cents, I would give you a twenty, or I'd take out a twenty and add it to the change that I'm going to give you. And now I just have the twenty five cents to solve for. So we'll append that number to the change array and subtract that number to, uh, or from, uh, n, right? Now, here's the thing. If it's $40 or $42.25, um, once you take a 20 out, you don't want to then move on to the tens. You want to move on to 20 still again. So, um, if that number, or if, uh, the current denomination is uh, less, or sorry, greater than n, um, you want to move on to the next uh, highest denomination. So that's, that's kind of the algorithm. And in the next video, uh, we'll go ahead and just write this out in Python. Um, now, this is one of those situations where greed is good. And so greedy algorithms are, are most optimal for something like this. We'll discuss other options uh, later in another video.